Agora TV. The world is thinking. There's a few questions about how you managed to put the different elements in your stories together, particularly about Stephanie Smith. How did you find her? And so we, we often, when we're doing sort of big stories, want to do what's, what's called in journalism, sort of a narrative style. You want to tell a story. And when I was looking at these outbreaks, kind of our natural inclination was to take not only just sort of one of the outbreaks that have been spiking in the last three years, but to, but to try to drill down and look at one particular hamburger. And in this case, I was just very, very fortunate because I was able to obtain the, the, the secret, usually secret grinding logs that the industry keeps where they track in, in handwritten codes and letters everything that's going into the hamburger. And that allowed me to know precisely where the trimmings from what slaughterhouses and what quantities were used going into the hamburger that she ate. Um, and when you're doing kind of a big narrative story like that, you, you, you're often you know, pretending like you're, you're writing a play and, and you're, looking, you know, you're looking for main characters. The, um, um, you're looking for a culprit, of course. You're, you're looking for a hero. You're looking for, in this case, sort of the tragic figure bureaucrat who can't quite do what they need to do. Um, and of course, you're looking for uh, you're looking for um, you're looking for a victim and 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 a face to 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 really remind people of what sort of the human element is in this. And so, in reporting the stories, I interviewed and and looked at a number of people who were sickened by E. coli. There were young children, there were middle-aged people. And Stephanie struck me as being an incredibly powerful person, not only because of sort of what happened to her and sort of the extreme end of her illness. She, after eating the burger, initially thought it was the flu, then was hospitalized within a few days and had convulsions so severe that her doctors had to put her into a coma and keep her there for nine weeks. And when she emerged, from the Mayo Clinic even, she, uh, she was paralyzed from the waist down. And, you know, the hardest thing of all sitting, you know, with her in her home in, in Minnesota was listening and watching the videos of her as, you know, an 18, 19, 20 year old teaching children how to dance. So, you know, you have a young person, she's incredibly beautiful, Having you know, having devoted her career to teaching kids how to move and dance, you know, sort of no longer being able to walk herself, and you know, you need those faces. You need real people in stories in order to carry you know the hard, serious you know hitting that you're doing on the on the regulations and the and the conduct by the by the industry.